made a decision business case that said there's some mix of uh, of used aircraft and new aircraft uh, were the what's the plan so we're going to have I think that the plan is like six and four in terms of new versus used so the shutdown of the line doesn't affect us we'll be able to get our aircraft we need thank you I yield back uh, great, thank you, gentlemen. Yields back. Um, I'm going to be taking the helm here as I'm next up on the line. So um, I wanted to just start by um, echoing my colleagues, uh, General Goldenfeen, uh, just of your incredible service. It's been great getting to work with you on this. And Secretary Barrett and General Raymond, it's been great getting to know you and, and work alongside both of you. Um, Secretary Barrett, I wanted to turn to you and just take a step back here. Um, as you know, uh, in my district, we talked about we got Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst, and a big part of the work that I've been trying to do is just really try to harmonize the work between the Joint Base as well as the surrounding community. <coughs> Certainly, a big part of that has been about the community doing everything we can in New Jersey to support the Joint Base as it's our second largest employer in the entire state of New Jersey. Uh, but another aspect of it is, is something that, about how it is that we can continue to make the joint base uh, an engine for our economy in the area and continue to support our, our local businesses and our, our local efforts there. Um, so I wanted to just start off with sort of a, a broad question here. I, I, I would uh, assume you would, you would join me in, in thinking that, that it's critically important that our, our Air Force and our, our DOD uh, understand that the military installations need to be a vibrant part of our community. Is that right? It's very important to us, our communities, that we be good neighbors and we be well integrated into the communities. Yeah, it definitely seems like a, a relationship that, that we would always want to continue to be uh, mutually beneficial on that level. One aspect that I've been looking at is in terms of uh, military construction and military construction spending. Now, uh, if I get these numbers right, uh, you can you tell me if I'm in the right ballpark, but it looks like we're at about $2 billion uh, in FY18 for DOD as a whole and roughly about $265 million for FY18 for the Air Force. Does that sound in the ballpark? Sounds in the ballpark. Ish, yeah. <laughs> ballpark sounds. Um, well, you know, for me, as I've been digging through those numbers, I've been trying to get a sense of what kind of impact does the military, military construction resources and funding provide to businesses in New Jersey and local businesses, uh, as we have a lot of great workers there who are, who are trying to help set up uh, the new hangars for the KC-46 and other things like that. Um, but I've really struggled to get further details uh, about that type of impact. So, you know, I'd, I'd like to work with you on this and try to figure out, you know, how do we do a better job of, of tracking what kind of investments are being made, especially when it comes to Milcon, um, into these local businesses. But I, I just want to get a sense. Does that sound like a, a, a reasonable thing that we can try to, to, to move on together here? I'd be happy to work, work with you to try to track that. Yeah, because I, I think for me... Um, you know, we, we certainly want to make sure that we have, uh, you know, the, the best installations, the, the best construction for our military. Um, and I think that uh, when I get to know the, the local workers in our area, it certainly feels like, you know, that, that's a place where it can be a win-win here. Um, that our, our local workers who are highly skilled, a lot of them go through um, apprenticeships and other programs. But I'll be very honest with you, uh, as I've talked with a number of businesses and, and workers in our area, um, uh, they, they've struggled to, to, to kind of get their foot in the door, with, whether it's working for the joint base or other installations. And I'm just trying to figure out how we clarify this. You know, some of it comes from helping them understand what the contracting process is, and I think we can try to find some steps to add greater transparency on that level. Um, but I, I also think that there needs to be just a sort of um, a reassertion of the importance that, that that we are dealing with from this committee and from the DOD side on just uh, what role we expect uh, to play within our local communities. And so I think from my end, um, I'd love to work with you on, on trying to get deeper fidelity and in, in what numbers we understand, um, because otherwise we have a, a trouble uh, quantifying and articulating exactly what kind of investment we're doing. Um, and I'm hoping that um, we can work together as well to just make sure we reassert that importance of the local workers uh, when it comes to our cooperation with the base. Does that sound right? Congressman Kim, we'd be happy to work with you on that and to do an assessment, track it, and uh, determine if there are better ways we can be participants in the community. Okay, great. Well, look, I, I look forward uh, to doing that with you all, and, um, and, and I'll, I'll yield the rest of my time here.